Test, test, test. Say something, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Here's the top. This is a very interesting design. It's an incline, but then it's got an oar bin on the front. So you got an oar bin right there and an incline right there, which is, is which is really unusual. Yeah, I was trying to work out what that oar bin is and why it would be there. What do you think, Joanne? I don't know. Okay. I mean, we've we've looked at that a number of times, and it's just not obvious. Yeah, let's go down and take a look and see if we can figure it out. All right, there's the incline. It's got a little bit of movement on the timbers, but not too bad. Wow, look what yeah. Santa brought. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a pretty green one? Eventually, it'll look like this one. Yeah. Feels like I've got a hell of a lot of rope on me. Like 200 Ooh. feet, maybe? Well, yeah, and... And another. Oh, wow. Ahead. And another 200. And another. Are you planning on having a party down there? All right. I'm on. How slick is that rope? Slick. Slick is Slicker snot. than. Slicker. I was waiting for someone to say that. Slicker than snot. <laughs> you know, I, just, I, I should know. I'll I just got... easily pull it through my stop. Well, and it's supposed to be stopped right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. Well, it's a nice uh, way to have a slow descent. What everybody says is, is that really a stop? So it's what I've got to do is the opposite to what you want to do. Rather than push down, I've got to pull up on the handle. Isn't that that's, mean go fast? No, that's the brake. Oh. On a stop, you, you push in to let go. Oh, this, so you, you got, got to pull up. I've got to pull up. Didn't you have this problem once before in England? Yeah. And you uh, just got about the, soiled your pants. Got down the bottom of a, a cliff yeah. at, at speed. And this was almost like and red hot. And the stopper hop. knot was trying to feed Ooh. through. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, dropping 150 feet down this old rickety shaft. But somebody's down there and you promised me pizza. Pizza! All right, we're dropping on down. But before I do, you better smash that like button or I'm just gonna sit up here and fiddle with my rope. I ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> all right, stop jaw jacking. I know, Jeff, I hear it all the time. Drop that shaft, boy, and then you can drop them pants. So you know what I'm gonna say, I'll say it with me. Whoa, so come on, let's go. Yeah! Yep. There's not really much over here. Look at this. You're right. Looks like they backfilled. Yeah. All right, I'm on the level. They're not listening. They're talking about handbags and oh God, I know. shoes. Okay. Ah. Ooh, this is soft. So we're heading down that way. Soft porphyry. And uh, stay high and go through that. that <laughs> I got you. I got roots down here. Roots, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like they tried to backfill or something. Oh, did you see the, um, see this what we were standing on? Yeah. That angle is up to the roof. So if that shaft was filled, this is the angle it would backfill from the shaft. Right. So I'm convinced that this shaft was filled almost up to the top, if not to the top. Wow. And then the whole lot is gone. Oh yeah, you can see right there. Using dynamite right there. Boom, boom, boom. Three holes. Look at this all just kind of peeling off. Just peeling off, baby. More exploratory, chasing a vein. Right there. This, of course, is the older workings. This is the older workings. There's a, obviously, there's got to be an ore chute down there. This is the main level we're on because there's a rail right there. You see it? <sighs> Soft porphyry on the outer lens of the pluton. You see where all this is collapsed. <sighs> That's why you wear knee pads. That's why you wear knee pads. Nice little drift. 
It's a nice little duet. More explosions yet. Got some really good ventilation in here. More stopes. There's a pillar. More shear zones for the fault running through here. Yeah, you can see where they're blasting up there. Right here. Oh yeah, I feel some really nice air. I can see the drills up there too. Right up there. Really soft material. Yeah, more exploratories everywhere. Do, do, do. Another exploratory. Do, do, do. I feel air. I feel air. Ooh, where does that go, Tony? That goes down. Ooh. That's the secret joint. The secret joint. Imagine them tunneling this way yeah, and then tunneling that way. All it takes is one round to go off and you're falling through. Yeah. I hope they communicated that. Hey, uh, hey, Bob, did you tell the guys in the other mine we're setting off around? Nah. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Ah, bye. I See that thin fault gouge right there? See that? Oh, it's beautiful to see these shears. And they're all over along this fault. You can see they were checking to see if there's any ore body this way worth chasing. Nope. Oh, and you got an extra timber here too. That looks safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No? Uh, uh, yeah. This is the secret connection. Yeah, the secret point that only a few people in the world know about. That's a stiff rope. It's a stiff rope. Oh man, yeah. that's a stiffy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Slip it off, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have you throw it down. Yeah, I'll pass it down to you. Cause that's, that's gonna be too much, yeah. honestly. All right, let's see what we got here. My question is, is this gonna slide through here? Oh yeah. Yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember this. You've got a little stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, getting through that little hole is fun, huh? Yeah. There you are. He's, oh, here, I tried that too. <laughs> and I did the same thing. I'm like, hey, there's there's a hole there. So even a pit rope goes through this. <laughs> what? That what does that go? Oh, there's a tamping rod right there. Little tamping rod. Uh, wow, all the timber is just raw. Oh, that's an old dynamite box. Look at that. The thing is just falling apart. Oh, if you touched it, it would just crumble. All the wood down here is just. Oh, there's a can right there. Well, it's got nuts and bolts in it. You see that? A whole bunch of nuts and bolts. Uh, this goes back to where we were in the main shaft, which is where Tony's standing at right now. You see this, Jeff? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. That's been filled in from back there. Yeah. And going by the distance, that should be the incline. Yeah, that's the incline right, right there. there. So it's definitely been filled back from the incline. Oh, and you can see the dust going up. So it'll be interesting to get 
on the other side of this, shout between the two, see if you can gauge oh, yeah. if it's if it's if you're at the peak or whether you're right here. Because you could, see the top, in essence, you could dig this out and just come through here. Yeah, and get down. more airflow. What you'd need to do is is build a dam off here. Yeah, it will probably be better to actually pull it out into the bottom of the incline. Right. Just because you don't want to fill this hole down below. Bingo. I mean, this is at the angle of repose. This is this is as full as it would get if the incline was full up. So exactly. absolutely no doubt the incline would backfill at some point. Whoa. Don't want to pull too much down, but yeah, it wouldn't take a lot. But yeah, you can feel the, the airflow so you know it's not It's far not that far. There. Because you don't want more stuff going down there no. because it's blocking off the... And you can uh, see where it was. It was going right down that where that timber yeah. is and then yeah. just filling the heck out of this thing. Fill that in down there. I don't know if that was a man way and that was the ore chute. Yeah. It seems it looks strange. Like, yeah, you can see where the dirt has collapsed away. Maybe they had timber here at one time yeah. and it, it rotted away. All right, just came down that. Now we're going through that. Tony built a little dam, I like that. Good job, Tony. Here's my pack. Oh, I gotta squeeze into that. Dusty. Yeah, sorry. Can't help it, not down this. No. <sighs> There's my pack. Let's see. I think I can get one foot in there. What do you think, Tony? <laughs> that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm there's Tony. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Sorry I mean, for the dust. I'm in disguise. Uh, uh, have you seen Tony? It's me. There's the quartz vein they're following right there. Uh, string it, as they call it. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, I remember this one. This is the bottom level of the small mine. Wow, I got Scooby Doo. Where are you? <laughs> That is Scooby Doo. Do 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 do. Do do do. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I modeled... It looks just like him. I'm not kidding either. That looks just like Scooby Doo. I modeled that out of my own feces. No. Ooh. Ooh, I got another powder box. Hercules, baby. Hercules. Yeah. That's Anything nice inside one. of it? Yeah, that's a great shape. Are you kidding me? Loving that. Ooh, I love that airflow. That feels great. Ooh, somebody was getting ready to start stoping. Start stoping. That's underhand stope. Timber, rail. Ooh, I could use that rail in my mind. Oh, wait a minute. This is my mind. <laughs> oh, all the nuts and bolts and railroad spikes. You can tell Joanne's been down here. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wow, these ore shoots have just crumbled away. Look at that. All this some timber is just. Oh, there's an ore pass. I'd be curious to take a look up in there. Oh, yeah. The infamous bridge. Right. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. Tony the Tiger says, I don't need no stinking rail. <laughs> yeah, we're at the very bottom of that little mine. Oh yeah, look at all those stalls. Look at all those stalls, railroad timbers. The moisture is just making them all... It's turned to mush. Mush, they're just falling apart. But they must have got something good up there because they, they went to town on that level. Uh, the little pillar. I don't know what that is right there. That looks cool. Maybe the remains of a stall. Then we got buckets and stuff down here. Oh yeah, walk across the rail. 
cool beans. All right, here we go. So if we've got time, I don't know if you noticed this middle one is actually not supported at all. No, there's nothing holding it. Um, there's a timber down below, which I think is long enough to span all oh. three. I was going to bring it up, put it across all three, and then tie that up to it. That's a great idea. Just so that doesn't go, because we kind of need that there. Right. So if you're happy to do that for yep. a couple of minutes, because I need a hand to get it all up there. Of course. I'll grab some wire that I found further down that we can wire around, or we can use this rope. Got it. Um, easy either way. All right, so we need to first hoist it up into place. Yes. All right, let's see what we can find. Look at that beautiful bug of quartz right in there. See that? Isn't that beautiful? This is a dynamite fuse. I wonder what it's tied to. Ah, wah, 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 nothing. There's the top of the shaft right there. You see it? There's the top of the shaft. A big old piece of lumber waiting to come down. And here come. More tarp. And a homemade skip. Homemade skip. Airline. A good airline. Oh, look at all this rail. Oh, I could use me some rail. Heck yeah. That's a lot of rail. Oh, it's getting musty. It's getting musty. This air is getting thick. Oh, now we're in granitic rock. See where they drove that that way, that drift? We're in granitic rock. We're no longer in altered andersite. We're in granitic rock. So that means we're inside the Pluton and we're near the shear zones and you can see heavy mineralization. And they, of course they came through and they, they fenced this all up for ground support because we're going through a large shear zone right here. This is all crushed shear zone. Look at that. And it's extremely fragile. Yep, there's that granitic rock again. Yeah. We got some alteration zones. We pulled up the track. Pulled up the track, Bubba. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Six whole round. And I got here and they said, you know what? There ain't no gold over here. There ain't no gold. You're absolutely right, there is no gold over here. See the pick marks on the wall? There's no gold over here. It's always over on the west side. Always over there in this district. See that? Get a lot of shearing going on right here. A lot of shearing. Here's a good example right here. This is all shearing. Because you have a large contact zone between andesite and you have quartz monzonite. And as they rub together, they create a lot of stress, a lot of friction, a lot of fault gouge. This is all loose fault gouge right in through here. And there is gold in it, but not a lot. Not enough for me to waste my time digging through it. Uh -huh. Now we're starting to come out of the crush zone the shearing, and look, the rock gets stable. What the heck is that? 
Max Berry Trucking. What do you mean Max Berry Trucking? What is that doing down here? Here goes a rock. Here goes a rock. Splash. There's a little depth to it. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold mine explorer. It can definitely work you out. Huh. I got no rope, so I'm I'm doing this solo. Han solo. There's another piece of rope up here. I gotta, I gotta try to get to it. Oh, there's no rung there. Oh. Hold on. All right, let's see if we can climb up here. Oh, yeah. Where's my rope at? Oh, he's still up there. Okay. There's the bottom of my green rope. I gotta connect to him so I can get up here. All right, here we go. Looks like a deep hole in the ground. It is a deep hole in the ground. I better hold on to my hat then, yeah, huh? You're gonna lose that. Some reports say 900 feet, some reports say three. Speedy Caver, AKA Tony the man, is gonna find out just how deep it goes. Just how deep is your love? I've got some old photos I took of this head frame back in the 80s. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those up so you can see what this massive structure used to look like. And another side note is Harry Reid's father used to work in this mine back in the day when it was active. It's a gold mine too, and it has its own mill over here on the side. And it not only did it mill for the ore coming out of this mine, which was gold, but it also milled for the some of the mines in the surrounding area. You better smash that like button, son. Smash it hard, because nobody's ever seen what's in here. Not since they shut it down in the 30s. This one's solid, I take it. Dicky, that, that one is, yeah. And this one's a good one. That one teeters, and you can't stand on any of any of this. But that one and that one is good. Gotcha. Oh, it looks like you got solid rock about 20 feet down. Okay. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> so there's a little washing. You can see daylight coming through if I do that. And so that would be a nice way in. That's if you didn't want to be under that. Tony! Hey, Jeffers! How you doing? <laughs> that looks so impressive. It's like a massive bird's nest. Yeah, and it's solid too. It, there's actually one, two, three. There's three beams that have fallen across that way that are complete, touching both sides, and everything's sitting on those. Oh, that's great. So it's pretty good news. Good. Doesn't look too pretty down here, but. <laughs> Not too pretty. <laughs> and we're heading down there. Let me know if you see a Volkswagen. <laughs> okay. Right. Off we go. Okay, there's a uh, there's a level going off, and I can see daylight. Yeah, that's right over here. It's going to be a bit of a swing to get in it. Okay. Let's have some slack on that. So about forty feet down. There's a. Well, it's not really level, it's like an incline that goes off. Looks more like an air shaft. And there's light at the bottom, which is the uh, the vent, the piped vent that's the other side of the road. Still going down. I'm gonna swing across to there and see if I can get in. Okay, I'm letting go of the camera. Tony is, uh, it's only very narrow. It's only like two and a half foot high. That's a nice looking rope you got. 
<laughs> it's heavy, which tells me I don't think the uh, the rope is touching the bottom. <laughs> right. This may not work. Yeah, Tony! Oh, Tony's a madman. Alright, there's the plug and the shaft that BLM created. There is a small hole from erosion across the way. Now, this is an actual raise that's come up from a shaft and a lower level. That's why it's not very large. It kind of pokes out into the shaft and it's got a lot of backfill and debris in it uh, for when the shaft was timbered. Now, this one goes down to uh, another working level and the shaft actually connects into it. You'll see it on the, uh, the map. And it's choked off down below. So when Tony gets into the next lower level and you see that there's Coke bottles and stuff choking it, it's coming from this. This actually went down another 20 feet. And of course, it daylights. And there used to be a cap on the top of it, but it eroded away and collapsed in and BLM has since come out and put a galvanized pipe in it with a bunch of expansion foam. Uh, all right, so we got a culvert pipe and it drops down into one of the stopes that gets close to the surface, you can see that. All right, now here's picking up where we left off on the Culvert pipe. Like I said, the shaft goes down. There's all kinds of old debris in here. This is an old beer can that Tony found from a company called Acme Brewing Company. I don't think I've ever seen one of these kinds of cans before. And if you have, please let us know in the comments below because uh, I think this is this is one of the older original ones from the 30s, maybe the 40s. Boo. I believe this is the first level. So, continue straight across, but it looks like it's been completely filled in on the other side, sorry. You've got the angle of repose going right down into the shaft, so that looks like it's been backfilled. There was a ledge out the, off the back of the shaft, which is literally as deep as you can see it, five, six feet. Bits of wood, nothing very interesting. I'm not gonna go too far out there because I'm a little bit on the edge here. But there is a nest with one egg, maybe two eggs in it. Looks like it could be quite old. That's the main shaft and it keeps going. Now let's have a little look, see what we can find. Wow, it's really humid right here. It's only 10 foot, well not even 10 by 8 foot deep, this little pocket. So humid. So, my estimate is that's rock. That looks like water erosion coming out of here. And that looks like it's backfilled to the top. Just making sure there's no snakes or anything else in there. Don't know if Jeff can tell me what that is. Very crumbly, it's just peeled off of off of there. 
black stuff, but very, very flaky, crumbly. Hardly call it rock, it's more like very dry clay. Yeah. That looks like it's just debris that's been washed in. Kind of like a waste pile. It used to go somewhere, but not anymore. There's a timber in there. Well, that isn't, well, it may have just been washed in this way. It's hard to say, but there is a big bit of timber in there. But nothing else. If we were really desperate, we could pull that out. But in my view, that there's been a lot of water running down here. You look at this, and then you've got level plates here, washed down. I mean, that, that looks like it's just seen a lot of water. And that will ex uh, explain that ridge. And then it just washed down. That's another old beer can. But yeah, that's that's had a lot of water coming down here. So that heads off 90 degrees off the shaft and this way and in 90 degrees that way. So it's ahead of the head frame. Um, maybe a stope the other side of this wall, if that makes sense. All right, so Tony's rigged up on the rope again. And what he's got to do is, since he's in an undercut from the shaft, he's got to swing out from where he's sitting. And that's going to drive him all the way across the shaft and into the wall on the other side. So he's got to make sure that the camera's set up right, everything's good, the rigging is right, because if he messes up, uh, the rope could give way or his rigging could give way and he'll drop to the bottom of the shaft. And he's got to make sure that when he goes to, hits the other side of the wall that his feet hit square against the other side or else uh, it could mess him up. So he's making sure everything's right. He's done this a million times. He's a professional. And uh, he's going to give it a go with the camera in his hand. So there he goes. Swung out across the side, hit the other side, and he's good to go. I'm about a hundred feet down. I think I can see the bottom. I don't think the, the green rope reaches. So I've requested more rope. So we've got, uh, who's that silly person up there? So I've got some more rope being fed down the camera rope, uh, another 150 foot. It's gonna come down this rope to me, hopefully. And then, um, I'll grab the end of it, I'll gather up any slack they've got and then uh, once I've got as much as they can reach I'll step off to my left and uh, they will just drop their end of the rope past me uh, and that way I'm out of the way, it doesn't bring any debris down and I get another 150 foot of rope. Right. I got the last bite of rope in my hand. Okay, so I'm going to step to my left that way and uh, I want you to throw it just out a little bit so it doesn't touch the uh, the incline I can't really throw it I can only let go of it because there's nowhere to throw to but uh, I'll give it a good no, try in that case no problem no problem just let it go anytime you're ready alright here we go are you ready yeah alright releasing now Whee! Perfect, thank you. You betcha, let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm just about to carry on heading down. Copy that, let me take the knot out of the camera rope. Fisherman's 
not, I gotta get around. Just give me one second. Okay. Hey, rock and roll, brother. Okay. Well, I'm standing on a ledge. All of the uh, your green rope is coiled up here. It was out of shot. I couldn't see it, so I didn't know. The uh, the bottom, which is a plug, is 15 foot below me, and I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. So there's no levels coming off of that plug. I don't believe so. No. No, that is it. That is all she sung. All she sung? That's that's all she said? I don't know. That's all she wrote. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna just drop down to the actual bottom. Just to make sure. It sure does. Now what we were told by one of the old timers in town is that somebody in the 70s drove a Volkswagen into the main shaft and it had plugged somewhere between the 150 to 180 level. So what is that? Oh. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> what are you doing, Tony? You silly man. Hey. 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 You're at the end of the nut. Now what? <laughs> I bet you that Volkswagen's what's plugging it. Uh, yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was no sign of any other working no. at the point where I was, so. And if it's, if like Joanne and I were saying, uh, the loads are usually around 300 feet down where the deposits are. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's a ways down there. Oh, well. Too bad we couldn't go into the air shaft. That would have been cool. Well, rigging is fun, de rigging is work. Nope. I gotta get you a more difficult shaft. I gotta find something harder for you. Oh. I catch you! Job, Tony! Oh. Team brothers! Oh, no kissing? No kissing. <laughs>